There's even sea turtles in the harbor. Now we're official. Abramov's super yacht Titan. It goes on for miles. Hey, this is one of the best ones I've had so far. The view up here is spectacular. We're supposed to leave tomorrow morning. They've canceled that ferry. Kate Sarah, she's just not feeling like being on camera this morning. I'm still having a rough time. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? got to our apartment here in Fedia and I think we picked the winner. We have a huge kitchen, a washing machine, this amazing couch. We can both lay down on it. Oh, and it's really comfortable too. <laughs> and bouncy. And they said if we needed anything just taller, I might ask for a blanket. This is a huge bathroom. I like the sink. Oh, oh wow. Um, that's soft. But that's gonna be nice. Soft good. Uh, soft good for me might be a little too soft for you. <laughs> well, now I'm gonna go take a shower and we have to eat. We did have breakfast, but you know. Thumbs up on this place, babe. Good yep. choice. Very much. Well, hello, Mr. Sea Turtle. Just walking along the port and saw the sea turtle. We spent our first few days in Fetia just getting to know the city and really enjoying exploring with the camera off. But don't worry, we couldn't leave it off for long. This place just had too much to offer to keep it to ourselves. Taking the water taxi to meet our friends at Chalice Beach and it's uh, 30 uh, Turkish Lira. person. A lira. <laughs> I remember that one too. Now we're official. My passenger set sail that day for a three-hour tour. The views as we rode across the harbor were simply stunning. And cue my boat envy. We spent a great afternoon with friends, then as evening fell, took a beautiful walk all along the shoreline back to our hotel. None of which we filmed, but don't worry, that'll change tomorrow. We're starting today off with kebab, and then we're going to the tombs. From a distance you can see them. There are carvings in rocks, and where they very people and they're massive and it just looked really cool. These are a lot bigger than the ones we saw in cash. You can actually see them from miles away so I'm excited to see if they actually look up close. I'm excited for that but I'm also excited to try this magnificent looking kebab which is only 15 lira which in case you're tracking is a dollar. This one is really, really good. The bread is crunchy on the outside, moist on the inside, lots of vegetables. This is one of the best ones I've had so far. Last bite. <laughs> really, really good. I could eat another one. We haven't showed you much about Fetia. Huh. I would definitely recommend coming to check out Fetia. It's got a lot to offer. The harbor's beautiful. People are nice. There's just stuff all over the surrounding area. Great food. And it looks like we're going in a circle, so I need to look at the map. And there's circles to walk in, so uh, I'm gonna let Katie get back to navigating. But in case you were wondering, that's kind of where we're going. Carved into the mountainside overlooking Fedia are what look to be a collection of temples, but are in fact ornate ancient Lycian tombs. The ancient Lycians date from around the 15th through 4th centuries BC and are featured in Homer's Iliad. The Lycians believed that their dead were carried to the afterlife by magic winged creatures and thus they placed their honored dead in geographically high places such as the cliffside. Dating back to the 4th century BC, many of these tombs are adorned with tall classical columns and intricate reliefs, still spectacular after over 2,000 years. That was cool. Pretty much said we need to go to Petra's to do it. Despite the external grandeur, the interior of the tombs are often small chambers cut into the rock with a simple monolith to display the body and are otherwise empty from centuries of looting. The view up here is spectacular. For a dollar a piece, this is worth it. <laughs> the most impressive of these tombs is the tomb of Amentus from around 350 BC. No soup for you! Well, I guess we're not going over there. Now we're gonna show you a little bit more of the town. One can't help but think of the lost city of Petra while viewing these ancient marvels. I really like this area in the shopping area. It's covered, so if it's rainy, you can still get out and do everything, and it's beautiful. It's got a little bit of everything, and each street has a different roof. This is for you, Alan. 
I'm gonna be someone else. Our favorite part of Feria is the boardwalk. It goes on for miles and it's all lit up at night so you can take a walk anytime. And there's even sea turtles in the water. Harbor, harbor. <laughs> this place is, however, very bad for my chronic boat envy. So I'll just have to uh, get over it and, oh well. Maybe we'll just have to rent one. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold. Fethia has been a joy. We just came to see a friend that we made in Istanbul, and it was awesome. I think now we're gonna head out and grab a little coffee and uh, probably chill out for a bit in the afternoon. Not sure if we're gonna do any more filming before we leave Fethiye. However, our next place, I think you are going to really be excited to see. So tune in next week and see that one. If you haven't already, you know the deal. Like and subscribe, it really helps us. Click that little thumbs up, click the subscribe. I know we say it, but it, it really does help our videos get played more, which helps us get more ad revenue, which in turn helps us offset the cost so we can actually make them a little bit better. So <laughs> thank you all very much for spending your time with us. It means a lot to us. And we will catch you all from, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> We just got an email that made today a little more interesting. We're supposed to leave tomorrow morning early on a ferry. We just got an email that said that they've canceled that ferry. And so now we are heading off to the port to see if we can work out some arrangements to get to the island we're supposed to go to tomorrow. So we shall see. So supposedly. Supposedly. Did they go to the zoo? Supposedly. <laughs> They transferred our tickets to another ferry company, but they may cancel it tomorrow due to terrible weather. Cow, I gotta go, Julia, we got cows. So we don't know. We'll see if we get on the boat tomorrow. <laughs> what we do know is that we've got about 20 hours left, maybe more, in this beautiful town, and we're gonna do our best to enjoy it and probably find some food. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I'm at a port. Uh, don't worry, Kate's here. She's just not feeling like being on camera this morning. The weather looks lovely. Hopefully that keeps up. What happened with the process of getting our ferry tickets was it was actually wonderful. They took care of everything. They transferred us over to Tilos Ferry, which is a more expensive ferry than the one we had originally paid for. Showed up at the ferry pier about an hour early, just waiting for customs to open up, and we will be off to Greece. Oh yeah, we're going to Greece. If you ever get the chance to go to Fethiye, Turkey, you should take that opportunity. This entire area is lovely. The people are lovely. The food is fantastic. There's hiking in the mountains behind me. There's every water activity you can imagine from scuba diving to, well, you know, that's pretty much the only water activity I can imagine. Another dive is over. It is a privilege to go down again and live for a while inside the sea. Anyways, we are off to the ferry and we'll catch you en route. We have a Katie sighting on video this morning. Well, I'm fine. feeling much better now. I'm putting my wristband on because there's supposed to be wind and I have a feeling I might get a little sick. Right next to a huge standing ball of foreshadowing. I'm kind of sad. It's the, we're leaving Turkey, the food and the people, and I really loved Turkey and I'm really shocked by it. I would come back here in an instant. Change of subject. This boat is really nice. Lots of leg room. I think it fits 350 people, and I think there may be 15 people on this boat. They've canceled all of them for today, except for this one. We're lucky. <laughs> she says lucky now. Wait till we're uh, rocking in the wind here in about an hour. That is Abramov's super yacht Titan, seeking shelter in Turkish waters. Mingros is a big grocery store here, and they do free delivery by boat. The ride was a little rough. I have it on five, which is the highest, and uh, I'm still having a rough time. However, it is pretty awesome looking out there. But I didn't puke. <laughs> Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Click the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>